Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start off with brows using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. This is my favorite recently. It just gives you such a natural look and you only need a couple of strokes to really fill it. So I started in the front and then I'm going towards the back, towards the tail of the brow and then just blending as I go. I'm in shade 5 which is like one of the darkest browns. And I'm just going to go and just fill in any sparse areas. I'm gonna set with a 24 brow setter by Benefit as well. I really love the brush on this. It kind of really gives them a nice natural groom look and I just really love that. We're gonna conceal with Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey and I'm using a flat shader to do this. This is by Brush Love but Sigma has a really similar one so I'll put that down below in the description. So I'm gonna blend it out with the brush and then I'm going to blend it with my finger. For the palette, we're using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I only used this once in a tutorial, so I figured why not do it again, because you guys wanted me to, and there's just such a range of colors here, so you can just get so many looks with it. I'm using Painterly by MAC to prime, and then I'm going to use Eden with an E35 from Sigma, and I'm going to blend this out into the crease. This is going to be our basic transition color. And I'm just gonna blend it back and forth, winch away promotions, bring it towards the tail of the brow as well, lightly. I'm gonna use Amber with a 2.4 Samey brush, starting out in the outer V and then bringing it towards the inner lid, just adding a little bit more depth and a little more color. I have some sparkles in my eyebrows because <laughs> I still had sparkles from that tutorial. I think that was like two days before when I filmed it, I still had that glitter everywhere. So it just took me a little long to get off, but who doesn't love glitter on their face, you know what I'm saying? I'm just taking some amethyst with the same brush and just kind of warming up the entire lid. Doesn't matter if you get it on the inner lid because we are going to use shape tape to clean it up right now. I'm using light medium honey again. And I'm just going to do that blink technique so you can see where you want to cut the crease. So I'm just going to blend this out. Uh, I really usually use the Sigma cut crease brush, but it was dirty, so I used the same one that I used to conceal my brows with. And it's actually really good because it's thin, so it creates that line nice and easily. I'm just going to press down. You can put more shape tape if you want to. That means like it'll just come up a little bit more opaque, but I think I used more than enough, but I would always start with a little bit and then add as you go. I'm going to use an E58 with Angelic and this was just such a gorgeous color and I feel like the shade tape just really helps it pop and it would just blend in so gorgeously. So I'm putting that on the inner and center lid, blending that towards the edge of the eye and then I'm going to pack on Celestial and I also use Retrospect because I wanted to give a little bit more dimension because why not? Why not just use every color, Gianna? I also use Amethyst to just kind of blend everything out. Amethyst, for some reason, wasn't sticking to my lid that well. I don't know why. As you guys can see, you can probably see like a little bit, but maybe I just had to use this padding motion a little bit more and then it would stick better. But it was being annoying. So I'm gonna use Retrograde and put that on the inner lid and just kind of mix that towards the Amethyst. And then, for mascara, I'm using Tarte's Tardis Mascara, as always, because I just can't get rid of it because I love it too much. I'm going to coat the lashes, bring them up. I've been using Grande Lash, by the way, and oh my lord, my lashes have grown crazy amounts. So I definitely recommend if you definitely had extensions. Um, I know a lot of people ask me how to grow their lashes back. I haven't had extensions on, just saying, but it does help the length of your lashes like come right back. I'm using Aubergine Clay Liner by Tarte. This came in a holiday set, so I'm not sure if this is a permanent color. I think it might be. If not, I uh, will put it down below. 
but what a beautiful color. I want to do black. I've been like loving colored eyeliners lately. For lashes, we're using Baby Love. That's my face on that box. These are Gigi Bell Lashes, my lash line. Gonna pop those on with some Sigma, twi Sigma tweezers and Huda Beauty glue. Then we're gonna start the face. I'm using Clean Slate Poreless Primer by Tarte. This is a Tarte day. Or really a Tarte year. I don't know, I feel like I just always use Tarte. I just love them so much. I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty Foundation. I completely forgot that I was trying to dry out these pimples, so I was like, oh, that looks like my skin's peeling off, but it's just benzoyl peroxide, so I wasn't peeling. Okay. Now I'm using Shape Safe Concealer in Light Medium Honey again. I'm just kind of putting it all over the high points of my face. And then I finally got a new Sigma 3 HD blender. And I'm not sure if they changed the feeling of it or what. Maybe I just haven't used it in a while. It felt like a little bit more dense than usual. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm crazy. I might be. But I'm just going to blend all of this out. And you guys know that this is my favorite blender. I'm not sure if they're back in stock yet. If not, I'll put it down below. And I'm going to try out the KKW Beauty contour stick again. And I'm talking to my phone because I did a Snapchat tutorial of this, so that's why. You can see my mouth moving, but nothing's coming out. So I'm going to contour it, and I wanted to use it again because when I first used it, I was pretty tan, and I kind of lost a little bit of my tan, so I wanted to just try it again. Maybe it would blend better, it would look better with a lighter skin tone, so. I am using medium, and I just used the same foundation brush that I used with the foundation I use. This is the Smoothie Blender Brush by Tarte. And I'm just kind of patting it. And I definitely did like the way it blended out this time a lot better than the first time I used it. There is some areas though by my cheeks that get uneven looking. So I had to like kind of keep adding a little bit more product, which isn't the best because there's not a lot of product in there. So kind of stinks that you kind of have to use a little extra, but it does contour really nicely. This time around it did. I'm using the light end of the stick, the matte light one. I'm just highlighting the high points of the nose and the cheekbones. I'm going to set and bake with the translucent powder by Kat Von D, Lock with Setting Powder. And I'm just staying towards the inner face. I'm not going to go too high up on the cheekbones. Using Captivating Blush by Tarte, but an F10. And then I'm going to set the uh, contour with the KKW Beauty Contour Kit. And now I'm putting Eden and Amethyst on the lower lash line to kind of just complete this eye look. Then going to add some mascara, of course. And for the inner corner, I'm using that highlight from KKW Beauty. You guys know I love that palette. It's actually probably one of my favorites. It's very, very close to the Anastasia one, but I feel like this one's a lot smoother than the Anastasia. I'm using that highlight end of the stick and just pressing it in with my finger. That's the easiest way to blend it and make it look natural without it getting like mixed in with your powders. I would just use your finger. It's just the easiest way. And it just blends out super nice. It does look very, very natural. And I like that it is very consumer friendly. Like for the average girl, I feel like it is good. I just wish there was more product to guys. Just wish it was more product. I'm using Thirsty by Dope Cosmetics. This is the Naked Wardrobe brand, and I absolutely love the formula of their lipsticks. And the nudes are good, too. You know, that's how you know it's good or not. Their nudes are really good formulas. So there's a nice shot up close and personal. It's just a beautiful plum color. Just, I love it. Setting with the Tatcha Dewey Mist Spray. And I'm also going to show you how I get my eye videos for Snapchat. There you go. Back of the camera of the iPhone 8. And that's it, you guys. I promise you I will have a Halloween video up this week. I know I have been a little delayed on the Halloween this year, but I promise I will upload one ASAP. So thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you aren't already, and leave some suggestions for Halloween. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.